Hello and welcome to our brief intensity webinar on why keywords alone are not enough and why real text analytics should matter to your business. The world of enterprise information has changed. In the old days, information that was important to enterprises was almost exclusively found inside the enterprise. Information from CRM systems, from internal databases, and so forth were what enterprises used to drive their business. However, today, the Internet has grown into a treasure trove of customer, product, competitive, research and market information. Information about business trends, risks and opportunities are waiting for the enterprise to unlock. This information is contained in social media, in forums, in blogs, wikis, reviews and many other sources. And this information is growing exponentially every day. Over 247 billion emails are sent every day. Over 15,000 tweets are sent every minute. Over 20% of these tweets concern information about products and brands. There are millions of customer records in a typical large company. And over 100,000 suggestions, tips, and tricks are posted to expert forums daily. What does this all mean for your business and your enterprise? Do you remember the old days when items were gathered, sorted, counted, and moved entirely by hand? Small shops were easily able to stack items, to inventory those items, and keep track of them. But later on, the barcode needed to emerge to handle massive amounts of goods, to handle information coming in and goods going out. The invention of the barcode enabled many new applications and abilities. For example, inventory control became much easier, routing of packages became much easier, and you were able to track where those packages were going. Likewise, with today's growing information, we need a new system that's based on the accurate barcoding and intelligent use of ubiquitous information. The next generation of enterprise customer experience applications must be information driven and near real time. Accurate analysis of text is key to success in using this first-person information that you find in social media and other sources to power applications that can both mine that text for information that can drive your business and move text to the right person or to the right process based on its meaning. We need a new way to truly organize the world's information to make it accessible and useful. We need barcoding for text. Without this, everything else falls apart downstream. For example, search alone is not enough to keep up with the river of new content coming in through social media. Let's say you wake up in the morning and you decide to try to find out what people think about your company or its products. Using standard search technologies, you can do a search, but you then have to read through a vast number of results in order to find out what people think about your company. What about if you're interested in finding out who needs your help or who's threatening to leave your company? More and more people are posting these sorts of cries for help or intent to leave or intent to purchase broadly on social media. It's just waiting for you to be able to respond to. So there's a new class of systems that arose to try to handle this inflow of information. But these keyword or statistically based systems aren't much better. They just basically automate searches. What do I mean by this? Here's a screenshot from a typical keyword or statistically based system. In this case, the user is using keywords to define complaints in survey and forum text about hotel rooms smelling bad. They've decided to define this as a series of keywords to look for. The keywords around smells, things like odor, smell, smelled, smells, stink, stinks, and stunk, and a keyword that reflects a room, in this case, simply the word room. Seems simple enough, right? However, using a keyword-based system can result in many, many false positives. For example, in this set of search results, you could see three examples where 
something was erroneously classified as being a smelly room. However, as you can read from the sentences, in all three cases, it was not the room that smelled. Attensity, on the other hand, reads through text and structures it to reveal a wealth of information. For example, in the sentence, the room was clean, but the hallway did smell of smoke, it detects two different clauses. It detects a subject in the first clause of the room, and uh, the verb was, and the room was clean. It also detects the second clause, talking about the hallway smelling of smoke. By being able to automatically read text and structure it, we're able to detect a wide variety of things on which you can operate your business. As you can see, advanced text analysis is more accurate. In the sentence, the room was clean, but the hallway did smell of smoke, we no longer have a case of a smelly room. Now we're able to output the information that the room is clean, but the hallway smells. In the second example, it was even a smoking room, but I could not smell anything. We've detected the fact that the person smell not anything. And in the third case, where they mention the room is clean on a non-smoking floor and smelled fresh, we can detect that the room indeed does smell, but it smells fresh, which is quite a different sort of thing. So you can see here that if you're using keyword-based technologies, you might be led to believe that you had a terrible odor problem in all of your hotel rooms, yet people are actually very enthusiastic about the way those rooms smell. We can even detect various clausal sentiment. So for example, in the phrase, the location was great, but I hated the pool, we can extract a positive sentiment about the location, but a negative sentiment about the pool. In short, keywords in search can tell you that something is up. For example, you might see a lot of people suddenly talking about cup holders, but it can't reveal what people are really talking about. It can only give you a general idea. Through advanced text analysis, you now get the complete picture. Not only are many people talking about cup holders, some people are complaining that the cup holders are too small. Some people are complaining that their cup holders are broken, while others want more cup holders in their cars. Based on each of these different things, you might take action on it quite differently. Text analysis can not only help you analyze information and report on it, but can also help you route information more effectively in your organization. For example, someone might post, if this car was available in blue, I would buy it. That's an intent to purchase event. This could be routed, for example, to a product manager who might then be able to respond to this person saying, guess what, next month the car will be available in blue. Therefore, the person might wait to purchase the car rather than buying from a competitor. It can also uncover intent to leave events. I've seen tweets like this many times on Twitter. Someone will post, I'm closing my account if no one from this company calls me back. Is anyone listening? Using Intensity's text analysis, it can detect this as an intent to leave event and automatically route it to a service agent for follow-up. In short, can you imagine what would happen if barcodes were as inaccurate as keyword-only based text systems? I mean, you'd order a phone and you'd get a banana. So why would you even think of running your business with a keyword-only based text analysis system? You need to get the most comprehensive suite of text analysis solutions that drive enterprise class applications that can help you listen to a wide variety of information, analyze and understand that information, be able to route that information and respond to it intelligently, reuse that information, deliver it to those who need it, and further explore it so that you can utilize the vast structure of information out there to the best advantage for your business. For more information on Attensity's products, you can email us at sales at attensity.com, call us at 1-800-721-0560, or you can follow us on Twitter at Attensity. Thank you.